just made one copy of Jim's phone number. Oh, okay. Just home in the cell. So this is Jaws. Mm -hmm. Did you tell, I don't know if you just told me or if you told him that he was unable to come here? Yeah. But they just, she said I could just call and talk to him get back. He said he was going to do a conference call. Oh, okay. I guess his mom's in the hospital. That's, that's just for Ted Holder. Uh, Ted, you can't come. Uh, well, yeah, because I never know when he's going to show up. That's true. Uh, <laughs> he might be covering his stuff with somebody. That's right. We're going to let criminals lose. So that's the reason I do it. I just put to be an ass. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that. That we got uh, 62 in property tax, I think. Mm -hmm. I think Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. I was telling Jeff <coughs> yesterday, we're just where we were. They paid October's and now they owe January, so they still owe us right at 150. What the? <coughs> is the state the worst state in the union? But that's what I hear. They found the beat out California. Yeah. <laughs> We're number one, by <laughs> God. And motorcycles, mm -hmm. and, well, you know, yeah. kind of got a death wish, anyhow. Don't say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, dirt. But then, was it Arkansas or something? Alabama, mm -hmm. how fast can they go? About 50 or 60? Or no, I ever did, I'm sure. Oh, okay. On the track, you don't go that fast, I guess. In well, it's just the height of the jumps, you know. yeah. Two stories, three stories high up in the air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I've got a picture of Nate. Well, it's on our tabletop at the house. We have a track, and 
it's the tabletop jump, then our Jeep Cherokee. They'll be standing on top of the Jeep Cherokee, and Nate jumps in all of them. <laughs> said that everybody down there is involved in motorcycles in some way or another, even the doctors are. And one of the doctors that Wayne had actually was part owner in that track. And uh, they're like, well, they send us a lot of business this way. <laughs> Good investment. Mm -hmm. It's called Monster Mountain, and they yeah. said it's, yeah. Hope he gets down there. Awful young to have a broken leg. Mm -hmm. It's not his first rodeo. Yeah. Property tax? I believe it was, or not property tax, personal property tax. It, it's personal property replacement yeah, tax. Yeah, that's what it's called. Thank you, John. How much is coming, Jim? Sixty-two thousand. Sixty-two thousand. Yeah, I saw those those skiers one time. You know, when they turned down there. And then realize it wasn't a dirt so I don't okay. have to get back checked. <laughs> no problem. I, I uh, got the ad in the newspaper. It started uh, this past Sunday. I was just going to do three Sundays in a row to Southern Illinois. Uh, somebody said they saw it in uh, uh, Contractor said he saw it in the or something. Yeah. Called me yesterday. Uh, they had an account in your name. So, not your name, but Highway Park, so they're just going to send you the bill. So I hope they can. It's like it's like three hundred sixty dollars or something. Like that. Says, <laughs> we wouldn't have had that bill if you were to retire, honestly. You? <laughs> <laughs> you feel sorry for us? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm just messing no, no. with you. <laughs> Slab of concrete on each side. The one on the each side is washing in behind that and washing that back out. <coughs> the old one up to the north. Uh -huh. That's been doing that a long time. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll keep an eye on it. But okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it, there's still tree. I mean, it's not hurting the guy's table or nothing. But I didn't know if it finally cut under the yeah. bridge there or not. Uh, we'll have to watch that because we had an issue there with that just two or three years ago. Same and we, thing? And we had, no, underneath the existing bridge. Oh, okay. And we had to get under there and put some riprap on the slopes. There wasn't any there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a very, very sandy soil. Is it? Yes. Where, where is it? What are you talking about? Mass yeah, Creek Central Club. We call it the Iron Bridge, and everybody, I, we know what the, what the Yeah, that's the only thing I've ever heard it called. Iron we, Bridge. It's the, the old Jamie bridge. Allen's. Yeah. I've learned that the old bridge was an iron bridge, and so that location is an iron bridge. Did it have those little trusses on there? Or? No, it's a big concrete slab. I mean, with the Either iron bridge. The old one, I think, was a steel truss, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm assuming it was a steel yeah, truss. I believe it was. Yeah. I believe that. No, this is I don't true. remember the bridge itself, but I remember jumping off that concrete bank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> used to be a heck of a swimming hole right there. Yeah. I've just heard it for years referred to as the iron, where the iron bridge was, you know, like the 1910 bridge. Yeah. <laughs> what? So I know where the location is. Did they forward that on the south side when that, it fell in, didn't it, or did they tear it? I have no idea. You're away before I, my time. <laughs> I, I don't know. Jason, you don't remember Because that. that one has been there, uh, 50s? You know, when they I'm sure. Or 60s? Yeah. You had to be a, just a kid then. Sure. Sure. I'm sure. Probably 50s. I've seen the plans, but I can't remember the date. 50s or six, early 60s won. And yeah, when maybe, yeah. that was, the plans on that one was put together. I can't remember. <coughs> I have to look it up. I've, yeah. I've seen it, but I can't remember. <coughs> so. uh, 
<clears throat> there I can remember when the, the traffic was so slow on the country club there where the railroad uh, bridge is that you could actually, they had those steam engines, and you could actually stop up there and just watch those engines go by and no traffic would ever come up through there, you know. Yeah. Watch the engine go under there and then go on. Yeah, you also had to come up that approach and then slow way down and hope nobody else was coming. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's true. I had a resident ask me last night on Unity School Road, mm -hmm. the, uh, you know that narrow bridge? Yeah. He had mentioned, and there might not be, is there any signs there that there is signs there? Mm -hmm. okay. There's signs on the bridge that are hazard markers. Is it possible to any kind of like other signs? Like, I don't know if there's a sign that says narrow bridge ahead or? It doesn't technically meet. Because it's? Because it's as wide as the road. Yeah. It's it's one of those, like I told so Barry Lee Suttles, when she was talking about the, remember the concrete bridge used to be down on Strawberry Road and we replaced a few years ago? Yeah. I says, she was talking about it as well. <coughs> Technically, two cars could pass on that bridge. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to be one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the same way. Is that one? It's actually, it's, uh, I think, almost 20 feet wide. It is doesn't it, look it, but it is. Is it on the plans to get done next to the road? I have had something in mind there, and hopefully in a couple weeks I will go to a meeting and I'll try to remind the guy to come down and look at it. It's, it's a situation that is almost not big enough area to justify a bridge, and yet it's not the right situation for a pipe. You mean the water flow? Yeah. It's like around 300 acres, but you've got a, a headroom problem, and there are places that mm, 300, it's between three and 400 acres, if I remember right. And it's kind of hard to justify the expense of a bridge there, and yet I have almost give up and said, let's do a bridge because. Well, that's farming ground, a lot of it, and I get stops and all the stop the car with that. Well, <clears throat> you don't have a headroom. Storage area. Uh, no, height. What could you match? Uh, one of those match? A uh, couple of them? Or? I'm afraid it's more than, than a pipe you could get in there. Yeah. And what I've been looking at is a uh, box culvert. You can get more, you know, more so, drainage area mm -hmm. in a box culvert. Because that's almost what we have there now. It's in the form of a bridge, but it's the shape of a box culvert. About a six mm -hmm. by Is I would uh, yes, I would very much like to be rid of that one okay. because that's the last one. We had six of those down through there at one time, yeah. well, and that's the last one of six. <laughs> because if it's narrow, or why do you want to get rid of it? Because it's kind of a like I said, it's twenty feet wide, but everything else down through there is twenty four, twenty eight feet wide as, as far as bridges. It's, it's wider than it looks, but it's still... It, you know, I can remember the one as you get on up to like Nell Springs Road. Do you remember the one that looked like it was cocked in there? It was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was. Was there a reason for that? I mean, you can't, I mean, that was way before your time and my time, too, but I remember all the time coming no. down there, why is it cocked? <laughs> because the stream crossing of the road was cocked, <coughs> and so they built the structure and it was actually about the same type of structure as this to fit the stream. Uh, and what they did is they built it to fit the stream instead of the road. See, and we replaced one there on Pell Road just north of Waldo a couple years ago that was built to fit the road instead of the stream. You had the same situation. And they built that one so the water had come at the bridge and it come did had to do this, and of course it kept eating out. So the new bridge we've got meeting, you know, it's parallel with the road, of course, but it's also built in a skew, so it's parallel with the stream, and you know, help facilitates the drainage a lot better. But no, it was, and it's 
we took it out and put a pipe in and of course got the pipe long enough. The pipe's in a askew, same as the bridge was. But you don't notice it because we've got the road going straight across it. Well, I can just remember that, of course, that's back in teenage years. <laughs> uh, well, I can remember when we replaced that. But, you know, you, you come by there, you, you had about three or four bridges right down there through that yeah. one spot. This box culvert is in disrepair or just narrow? Narrow. Talk about that one. The one on Yuki School. Yeah. School. yeah. It, it's one of those mainly narrow. It hasn't caused uh, any drainage issues. It's just a, a safety thing, and that's why you, you have to go to the expense of of a bridge, and I've looked at it. What I'm looking at is a uh, three-sided <coughs> cover and, and extend it out, make it longer. Because you cannot see that's a through girder. So you really, it's hard to do anything with the existing structure. You're eventually going to have to take that top off, and when you take the top off and you try to take the sides off, you've lost the structural integrity of the top of the bridge. It is a bridge. It's, not a collar, but it's got the shape of a collar. <coughs> collar. Is there any hundred thousand dollar bridges anymore? Or they all done all of them over that. No, I, if you get small enough, you can get them. Yeah. <coughs> but yeah, uh, Five years ago, uh, you could make it uh, about a thousand dollars a foot. So if you had a forty-foot bridge, you could build a bridge for about forty thousand dollars. Not anymore. Not anymore. A forty-foot bridge. I'd, I'd say a forty-foot bridge cost you Funding hasn't gone up, so it's what we used to. We could use get uh, out of our township bridge fund. A lot of times we could get a, one bridge every year, or depending, you know, uh, if we got some smaller bridges, you might even sneak three in over two years mm. with two years allotment. But it's almost to the point it takes two years to build one bridge now. And we've got a lot of our smaller bridges. Yeah, we're getting pretty good. Yeah. We've got a lot of our smaller bridges already replaced. So. Yeah. yeah, we're down to uh, five or six bridges post under 73280. We've got seven, I think, that are posted 73280, which is the old. Weight limit, Weight limit. <clears throat> yeah. and everything else. Then, other than those, uh, about thirteen or fourteen, everything else we've got is actually approved for eighty thousand pound loads. Don't like it, but that's reality. What is it? That's reality. Our legislature with a stroke of the pen. <laughs> we've always we've got a yeah, we're gonna have to find somebody. We've got a bucket truck that ain't acting right. And that's a throttle ain't acting right. And it's that's something different. So we've done some equation. I'm gonna get a hold of uh, I've already talked to him once and he's supposed to give me a name of a fellow that maybe knows something about it. Special stuff that dealt with and don't know and then so. oh, that's him Webb. Do you know him way up there Simpson? Tim Webb. I think that's his name. A young mechanic shop, young boy. <coughs> he does a lot of work. 
see this is not just straight truck work. This is control, throttle control from, uh, and it deals with the hydraulics from the boom. Yeah, yeah. That's see, so that's. Do you have to have the uh, inspector that was certified or something a little bit? Uh, I don't think we have to because we're not dealing with electric. I know that bucket. You know, but I have, <laughs> yeah, I have, uh, I have talked to REA because they bring people in to inspect theirs. I think once a year, I talk to them, mm -hmm. and I thought about trying to get just get them to come over and look at ours while they were in the area. Mm -hmm. um, and we haven't done it, but I, I probably need to think <clears> about that, or you know, I have thought about it. But I believe I've, I've done some checking, and they have to do theirs because it's. Electrical, and they have to run static tests on the boom and so on. See, those booms are supposed to withstand so much charge, no room. so they don't transfer. But if you get a crack, and that's what they're testing, if you get a crack, you will get dirt in a crack if it runs up that thing, and that will carry the electricity. So that's what they're. They'll put a static charge. And it's just a static charge on one end and see how much they pick mm -hmm. up at the other end. So if you hit a, a par line on that fiberglass boom, You're the boom itself it. won't, but the dirt on the boom <laughs> can. I know even the bucket <coughs> can track. And they do a static charge or some yeah. test, and it tells them that you know if there's a flaw there that you don't want. So. I know about the bucket. I never had heard that on the boom. Learn some things as mm -hmm. when we got them, and I, you've talked to people and so on. So, so. thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day, John. You too. Thank you, Larry. Somebody with a winter service. <laughs> 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 he didn't know. Yeah, uh, the paper is like about seven tonight. It's supposed to get pretty rough. <coughs> uh, Ted, on, we was talking about, yes, on that U.S. food. Is that different from TV dinners? Or, or they can't furnish enough dinners down there? U.S. foods is like everything but TV dinners. Okay. It's, you know, the, the drinks and yeah. okay. the cups. And Set up a special account just to pay that. It has to go, I guess, still be the general fund. Okay. Yeah, same thing. It's more of a bill, is that the same old invoice that's never been paid, or we just keep getting new ones? Uh, that's Carry that like that for a year, that's over 
thousand dollars a year in interest and late fees on a not a very big balance. I hope you have a good day. No storms tonight. Yeah. He'll be over there at your office for a while. I need to go and ask him later. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let me ask you, uh, was there something that we had you sign when you became that, in that position? Mm -hmm. i got to get a copy of that. He's, uh, somebody's got to give him the oath and sign a piece of paper. Yeah, well, we've got the, the appointment here, yeah, but I'll, I'll, I'll swear him in when, whenever. Yeah, yeah. And that, then he'll have to get that up to the state office in Marion. Okay. So they'll know, they know anyway. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I didn't get a copy, kind of what we had for you to sign. Do you have a copy of that? If not, I mean, I don't know if John would be like some type we've of got agreement a, that we had. Stelson and I pulled it out of your stand. I think it's down there on our desk. Okay. Uh, I'll go back down. It's got to be filled out, mm -hmm. and uh, well, Stills and I were trying to remember how it was done the last time, and she thought you did it, and I said I don't know. It got done, you know. I didn't do it, but I think she tied it in. I may have, but I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, we've got a form. Is that just your affidavit? Well, it's, well, it's just a resolution of appointment. Yeah, yeah that's different. Uh, uh, and you know, if they needs a copy of the oath of office, you know, yeah. I'll go back down there. See what's there. If I can find it, she's not here today. But she'll be here tomorrow. Okay. That's before Thursday, so that that has to be done. And then you know, I didn't do it, so somebody else filled that out last time. Well, so tonight might be a pretty busy night for you guys. Well, that's what I just got a call on Channel Six, and they're concerned about it, and then doesn't have anything to do with us. But uh, the weather radios for the Memphis area is out. That's where the head, hard head is part of the storm predicted to go through down there. So they don't have any weather radios wow. at all. For some reason, something with the transmitter is not working. Mm -hmm. They're not going to that, not going to get it up either. So. <coughs> but that's the way they're projecting right now. What I looked at this morning was the weather, the bad stuff is going to be south of us. Also. So you're saying like, what area are you thinking? Not like Calvert City, Kentucky. No, further, further south. <laughs> this this show work, actually work comes tonight. <laughs> about up to the Boot Hill in Missouri. Okay. And then further south is what they were showing, but I have looked at it for an hour or two, so I'm going to pull it up on the radar here in a minute. Uh, but that, that could complicate things tonight, and Channel 6 wanted to know if we were standing guard or something, you know. This seemed like it's a routine for us. You just, when we get the warning, when we open the courthouse and stuff like that, when the sirens go off, that's when we get really moving. You can't, you know, obviously you can't activate all your storm workers every time it gets cloudy or windy, you know. Some of them will go out and do it on their own. The newspaper said about 7 p.m. they expect it to be coming through the area. I think it's what Will Dawson is predicting. 
Uh, you all have any questions for Joe or anything? Well, uh, can you come down tonight, Joe? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You got a key? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, speaking of that, I have some uh, stuff that someone had dropped off, so yeah. I'm going to give all that, in, all that to you. Yeah, we'll sign it back. Okay. okay. That's uh, two, yeah, two radios. Two radios. And, and it looks like a set of keys and a couple ID cards right. and stuff like that. Um, but we'll get that, uh, I'll get that piece of paper and, uh, you know, whatever. Tess will be here tomorrow. She can yeah. type it up. Okay. I mean, we we would have gone ahead and done it. And she said, Larry, I can't remember if we did it or somebody else did. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and John, I don't know if John wants to swear him in today. Or, it doesn't yeah. make me any difference. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. And that was a good note. You did it on front page of the paper. Yeah, so, I know. I told him. You know, had a picture, too. I, a picture. I, I, I told him it must be a... Uh, slow news week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope it didn't hurt circulation. Sometimes Michelle's got favoritism. Maybe you're. You know. <laughs> Stills is planning to have a little coffee and cake down there on Thursday for me. I see that. Yeah. The state office people, Marion, at least two of them are going to come down, Brian and Sherry, Good. which are key people that Joe already knows, but he's going to be working with. <clears throat> That's a good thing. We met with Honeywell yesterday. And <coughs> he found out who out there to talk to, and they've got they've already got his phone numbers and stuff. But they're not producing right now, so are they planning a, another meeting anytime soon? Or do you know? Well, we got the Thursday night meeting. Did you get notice on that? You should have. I don't know if I did or not. A lot of times she would call and leave me a message on my machine. She didn't send me an email. No. Well, let me check that. Thursday S night at Cynthia. I, I, I got a regional basketball game to go to. Maybe one of these guys would like to go. I don't know if you want to go Thursday oh, night, you, Jeff, or Joe. No. Honeywell <laughs> Citizen Committee, and usually what they've done is at least have one county commissioner on there. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of got on to him last year because I said, you're putting me in a bad position telling the chairman he's got to get off when the new chairman takes over. <laughs> so they said, no, nah, we'll just leave everybody on. So. If y'all want, I, I got to go to Harrisburg Thursday night. To I have to check my schedule. So it's, it's, a, it's usually a, a nice meeting. Oh, you said Cynthia's? Cynthia's downtown there by the market house. They yeah. had been meeting at the Paducah Country Club. And what that is, Jeff, is that's not the county's committee. That's Honeywell's committee. Right. And they're really over who's on it. And But by law, the NRC requires them to have a citizen's committee from their standpoint. And they, they ask me sometimes, advice on who might be willing to serve and we've got some good people in there right now and, and they, they said they were going to leave me on it which you know that's kind of interesting but yeah. I think you know I think you're on it now and Hillbrand's on it and they may leave him because yeah. he's a citizen you know so Cliff Porter's on it uh, some other you know like he had worked there for many years Rollo Burnett's on it is Mossman just no. on uh, <coughs> yeah but I think he asked him to take him off and then Sally West used to be on it. Uh, Sally West is on it, and, and uh, the regional superintendent of schools is on it. She lives here in the county. They uh, usually, you know, discuss about what's going on at the facility. Uh, they used to talk about any kind of incidents that they had had compared to the years in the past, you know, to see if they can make any strides to do better. And then they ask for input from the people on the board and what they thought that, you know, what they should do better. It's, it's usually pretty what time is it meeting? meeting Thursday? 6 p.m. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if you or Gerald want to go or both of you. <coughs> if, you decide, the room, huh? if you decide to go, I need to tell the secretary out there at Honeywell because she sent me an email yesterday. I <coughs> wanted to know if I was going to be there. So I'll need to tell them if you want to go, I need to give them a heads up. Uh, they going to feed us? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Sign me up. You have a guy in Rotary says, feed me and I will come. <laughs> Darryl, it's a good meal and adult, adult beverages are also good. It sounds better all the time. <laughs> Looks, like, water. Looks like my schedule is clear. <laughs> uh, I sent this. I never heard of it. It's a that's nice restaurant. Uh -huh. Is it down the market house? Yeah. yeah. Right good there right across the market house where the old market house was. It's a real good stuff. The, the menu they've been having them. Excuse me, they've been having at the country club over there, and their menu there. I never had been to the Paducah Country Club until we went over with those guys, and it was really excellent food. Right. They 
probably got a concentrate there. They'd still be having it there, I think. Yeah, I mean, the, the food is excellent there. Yeah. Anyway, that's all for tonight. And, and, you know, I wanted to <coughs> tell the board that I've enjoyed the last three years and had good support from the, from you guys and uh, all the people up and down the state that I've dealt with. I mean, it, it was uh, fabulous, really. And I think Joe can carry on in that same uh, fashion. And I told Joe, Develop the people you know already, and then pick up on everybody else. You can figure out who they are and, and uh, get them for resources. So, you know, the uh, Corps of Engineers, the Coast Guard, all those people have been helpful to me, and they've all got a lot more resources than we got. And in McCracken County, again, that we got the signed agreement with them that I renewed a while back. And we got our local people we use. And Joe, I've been telling Joe, getting him contact names and numbers and stuff, but it's like meeting with Honeywell. That's a, kind of the first effort we made getting a head start on it. The, uh, and I'll be available to help advise Joe on anything he wants to see any information. And Stelz has got a world of information too, so, you know, put it all together. It's, it's a, it, I think it's a plus plus. So. Is there any uh, classes that he needs to get into? Will Bryan's coming down on Thursday, and I'm sure they'll set up an appointment to meet with him. And <clears throat> that's what I had, they did with me, kind of a little counseling session. That's what you got to do. And there's two or three classes he'll have to take in the first 12 months that you definitely have to take. And then to keep the certification going every year for the grant, he'll have to take a certain amount of classes that are basically dictating he has to class. Last year I had to take 13, and Stelsa had to take them too. Now this year they may change it. They, they, they haven't come out with their schedule what they're going to tell us to do. But you may have to go take some of them over because they'll change them or some new things. And uh, These are ones that you can take online? Yeah. And, and there's a few classes he's going to have to go take at another place. Right. The, some of this indoctrination stuff. But, uh, they got a memo yesterday about their, we do a Starcom drill once a month on our radio. <coughs> That's like a cell phone radio. Is. We got it down here. City's got one. Brookport's got one. Fire Department's got one. <clears throat> you can talk to anybody all over the state of Illinois on it, but you got to dial around on the, on the radio to do it. Joe, Joe's helped me on a couple of Starcom grills. Just came in when I couldn't be here and we did them. There comes the problem though. They're going to separate us. So if, if Stills is there and Joe's there and they have a Starcom grill, only one of them can get credit. See, that's another little tactic they're playing. So he'll do it one month, and still will have to do it the next month to get the credit. And that's the way we're getting our credits for the multiple exercises. That they're calling that a radio exercise. So you have to get on there and talk back and forth. That's just to meet the standards of the, the grant. And so, you know, before we can just all be there and sign that we were there when we did it. <coughs> but you only have to do three of them a year. There's little things like that you just got to keep up with. There's plenty of emails telling you what you got to do. And, you know, as a matter of fact, just looking at the computer and keeping up on it. And that's you know that's where Stelsa really comes in good because she she monitors the emails and says, Hey, Larry, you got to do this, you know, and whatever. So, I mean, you know, we talked about when I took the job whether you needed extra people in there and stuff. But you know, I'll tell you if you're not there every day all the time, you know, but using volunteers. I've done, and with Richard, who was there for a year free for that federal senior citizen program, and now I've got a trustee out of the public service out of the probation office from there two days a week, and you know he, he answers the phone. That's the best thing to do. And and a lot of people don't know it. We use those during the flood too. Closure, the, so just the, that, that probation same. department had guys that yeah. were doing public yeah. service for whatever reason. Put the floodgates in. I sent them four or five guys down there through probation that had to do public service and they got their credit in putting those gates in, but they had to work. <laughs> but, you know, you just got to figure out how to utilize what you can get. And obviously, with the constraints you got on the money, we've done that. And I'm proud of what we did and the amount of money that we were able to garner from all different sources.
resources, approximately a quarter million dollars in three years, you know, just picking up here, there, and yonder, Sarge from Honeywell, or help from AEP, and, and help from Honeywell, you know, just all together, it was a lot of, a lot of resources, which, that, to me, that's what you got to do, and uh, Joe went with me to the district meeting the other day, and, you know, Breckenmeyer told everybody up there, so Douglas had, Five hundred seventy thousand bat sandbags, mm -hmm. and he said, "Stay on Illinois didn't pay brand those. You know, anybody could have done what I did, but we went to the federal and got them. Which I think had, got more than that. Really. Oh, we had a million, but he just knew about the five hundred seventy thousand. <laughs> but he 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 helped us transport those. So what I did was pick up a million bags, basically from the federal through the actually through the uh, Corps of Engineers." We got a mutual aid pretty much, you know. So Saline County needed some, we shared them. So, you know, the uh, Corps of Engineers might not like that, but that's the way it works. And we got some from the state too, but it, I mean, you just got to come up with those. And, and Southern Illinois didn't have enough sandbags if we hadn't have done that, you know. However, we, you know, a lot of the sandbagging was kind of a lost effort, but yet, you know, people tried. So, anyway, I'm a key Larry. somebody the other day about Gerald. I said, you know, <laughs> Gerald brought his backhoe and carried sandbags into a guy out there who was trying to save his house. And, and finally, we actually we got pictures of backing a state truck through water about three foot deep to get some more sandbags. You were out there. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't drive into it. They back into it. <laughs> Remember that, Gerald? Yeah. I guess it's better they'd fall off in something. But yeah. That's what I have fun with. It was deep. Did, did the water ever get in the sand? In the basement, it did. Yeah, I, I'd been out there. They said he, he, he you know, he's up on that knoll, and so the basement walls and stuff busted out or something. I think the FEMA grant helped him. I think he's still there. <coughs> yeah, he. I think they. Uh, did he have a basement? They, yeah, yeah. He, well, they made it bigger or something for the furnace down there. Yeah, and uh, Jack, maybe jacked the house up a little bit. Mm -hmm. He was one of the uh, guys. Scott that, Smith. And, and yeah, he's one of the guys that was ill advised, I think, but I don't know much more about it from the insurance company not to buy insurance. And he didn't have flood, he didn't need it. Well, he needed it, didn't he, Jerry? Yeah, they sure did. But anyway, on that great bank. Yeah. It, uh, he got some kind of settlement finally from FEMA, I think. But, you know, those kind of things. I had Mrs. Matthews came in, you know, Mrs. Matthews. She came in the other day and thanked me and, and met Joe. And Thanks us for all we did. That makes you feel good when people like that come in. I mean, she lost her house. Yeah. Where did she? She bought a house on Catherine Street. Catherine Street. She oh, did said. You? But you know, we we didn't do much other than just haul her out finally. But yeah. you know, the, she wanted to stay till the water came in the door. <laughs> yeah. They hold her went and got her finally. And the dog, we transported the dog. And, I mean, you find out all this stuff. You know, I, and when we went to flood school, they said you'll find out. That Pets are a big issue in a flood, well, you or any know. issue. To, you know, disaster. People are going to take their pets. The highway department raised the road out there. Remember that in two places where yeah. help people get in there. The, uh, we had good participation from the county government too, as far as the highway. Larry Glasgow was super. Uh, did everything he could to help anytime I called. Gerald. Think well, you know, Gerald's County Commissioner, somebody's paying him. Nobody was paying him to do that. So, you know, it's part of it. Volunteer, hauling sandbags to people and stuff. But it, uh, in an emergency, I think you you saw what happened here in this community. Everybody got involved. Yeah. You know, some shape, form, or fashion. So, and I, you know, I think everything will be okay. Stell's a little bit nervous about it all, but. We're, we're, we're in good shape. We're good. I think I'm leaving you in pretty good shape. And, <coughs> and like I said, with Stelson and Joe, I told them both, if you come up with something you can't quite understand, it, <coughs> oh, I'll come down and look at it. And I'll be available. I'm not moving out of the county or anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, Larry, uh, yeah. on, uh, <coughs> on a related matter, uh, what, what did 
they did they decide on anything at Brookport or what did they was the consensus well, up there? Again, they they didn't do I anything think they're well. I thought that's what you were bringing up this morning when we were talking about oh, okay. the what I understand is they're still looking for a way to do it. And I talked to uh, what dig those pipes out or do what? Replace them. That's what they're telling them they gotta do. Um uh, I thought maybe I'd go talk to a couple people I know once I get out of here and see what we can come up with because I really think, off the record, please, <laughs> I think it hadn't been approached right and we tried to get, I got a call from from FEMA telling me that I ought to get the mayor to go to the state and ask them to get involved and they'd get some of the money from the flood disaster money, which there was quite a bit of money brought into the state. I may have told some of you guys this. She wrote a letter and she brought it down and showed me what she wrote and I said, you don't want to say that. But I can't tell her what to say. I just said, I don't think you want to say that. And she said, well, that's what I'm going to say. And I got a call from my email saying, well, that didn't do any good. You know, we're not going to be able to do nothing. Kind of threaten them instead of asking Well, it was saying it was all of the politicians' fault. And so... I mean, it's across the board. She's just going to blame them all. Yeah. And, and so really, to me, you got to go sit down with John Shimkus and, and uh, Durbin's people and say, is there something we can do or we're not doing that we can do to get the resources to fix this thing? And I'll tell you right now, Union County, if you just watch the news, you saw them fix something over there on some levees in Jackson County. Same thing, same type of apparatus, got a pipe under levee, and they replaced it. They got a grant to do it. I think Saline County did something. Saline County did too. But now those in Jackson County were done totally separate from the flood. They didn't have anything to do with the flood. They just applied for a grant through political sources. It all came down through political sources to get the money to replace them. And then the key to replacing them, you know, you got to do it when the river's down. You got to put a coffer dam out front of it case the river does come up, you can't just go out there and throw it up here to the whole town at risk when you do that, mm -hmm. so you'll probably have to put some little coffer around the front. That's what they did in Jackson County. I, I watched it all on the news and read about it. <coughs> they had and, pumps, I guess. Yeah, I get pumps and put new pipes in. But, you know, they're saying it's going to cost a million dollars plus. I don't know that it does. You're shaking your head. I don't, I don't see how it costs that much. See? But you got to comply Yes and no, you got to make everything meet the Corps' specification. And there, therein lies another problem. Everything has to go back packed with a certain type of soil and compaction. And, you know, Gerald yeah, on that right. will replace the soil. Yeah. But they're eating out around the pipe. I talked to the one of the guys that works for the city last week, and he was worried when the river was up, you know, and we talked. I, I always call him. I'll have Joe give him personal numbers these guys call them on our cell phone and say, you know, what what do you think about what's going on? And it's not our responsibility, but yet the Corps is going to call him. They're going to call the city too, but they're going to call Joe and say, hey Joe, you've been looking at the pipes down there. That's just the way they do. But I think there's money <coughs> out there if it was applied for it, right? But you can't go in the door knocking the guys that's sitting there that can help you. And that's where I say it's been approached wrong. I really think that if, if you sit down with Shimkus' people, Durbin's people, Kirk's people, and try to come up with a solution instead of complaining about they're the problem, you might be better off. You know, that's just my opinion. And, and I would look for a grant through rural development for part of the money maybe, and then maybe a grant from somebody else, what they did in Union County. And you need to talk to somebody over there to find out. Southern 7 helped with I mean, Southern Five helped with some of that grant, and I asked uh, Miss Thurston about it. And she said, "Well, it, so many words, some political things were done to get it done. Well, that means you sit down with these guys and say, hey, help us figure this out.' That's all I can say about it. I mean, you know, the, I just don't agree with the way it's been approached. And, but yet, the, it's not the county's problem. It is when they need help. You know, they're they're in charge of the living." 
technically what they ought to do is go back to what the system was set up is, is put some little tax on every lot in Brookport. Nobody wants to hear that. And have money. You pay taxes for drainage district well, not taxes. Only that, but, you know, it's, it's their levy. If they, if they want protection, it's, things cost money. Yeah. And see, the originally, the understand original design on that, and, and they did tax a few dollars a year for maintenance of the levy originally. And somewhere back in the 50s, they voted or decided not to do that anymore. And so they just dropped it. And so they would have had money. Cash River Drainage District got an office here. They get a little tax money to maintain drainage <coughs> ditches, and they really don't have levies, but they do. I mean, the bank or the dish is levy, but, you know, that's what they do. That's what those guys do. They take that money and maintain their ditches, and that's what they should have done down there. But shoulda, coulda, woulda. Had they kept that tax on, there may be cash in the, in the account right now. To, if they had. Yeah. You know. They didn't do it. And it's short-sightedness on that. And that levy, you know, it runs all the way back out to Pell. Yeah. And then the other way, you know, it comes around on the west side and goes all the way up to yeah. behind Smith's Sawmill. Yeah. And there's a gate up there, too, on that. Way up there. Yes, sir. Yeah. You mean when you drive through? And <clears throat> I don't know. I never went back there, but during the flood, they put it in. Oh, they did? Yeah, they sure did. Up past uh, Strawberry Road. It, you know, it's way on up there. I didn't know it was there. Design. They've got all the blueprints down there at Brookport's office, and they've got, you know, they knew what they had to do, and, and they finally won't put them all in because we were being told it was going to get there. So that was when they were saying it was on 37 level, but they put all those gates in. It took a lot of effort on them to get that all done. You know, the city and the county and everybody was involved in that. But, and like I said, that's when you, <laughs> you get involved when they can't handle it. And that's what this office is really about. You know, you're backing up whatever the municipal, the Joppa, or whoever, where they need help, then you got to come in and help them. And, you know, we, we, Joe and I have been talking about the emergency declaration and stuff like that. And I think we were just about on time with ours last time. We might have been a little earlier. <coughs> we, we were watching the situation. We weren't just sitting here not thinking there might be an emergency. You know, we finally declared the emergency. But... That means that you exceeded your capacity to handle it yourself is when you do that really the way I look at it. You know, we're going to handle it as long as we can and then we're going to go to the next step. So, Joe, you got anything to say? I just uh, appreciate you uh, appointing me and look forward to working with, with all of you. Okay. Just, uh, like I said, get in there and try to do the best you can. And Johnny, get you sworn classes taken keep everything up yeah I went to uh, well, I was going to go talk to uh, Brian last week but they were doing training in Springfield all week okay. yeah he told me yesterday he'd talk to you and if you're going to be there Thursday and they'll set up some sort of appointment and their trainer will get with him and, <coughs> and uh, they even like mine they had to get, get me under the radar right they had to do a special class for me They'll do the same for Joe. I mean, it's just you, they've got certain dates that they give these classes, and sometimes they're in Springfield, sometimes they're in Marion or Carterville, you know. But the majority of the ones that like I take last year was on the internet. But and I want to tell you, if you do those classes and read the material, I did it on Christmas last year on those thirteen <coughs> classes, and it took me about a week to do them all. But you know, you got to read the material. If you read the material, you got eight hours in the reading for the class, and then you got to take a test. And it takes you, you know, a few minutes to take the test, but you can't pass the test unless you read all the material. Hmm. So it's just, you know, it's going to school is what it is. But and there's, I was telling Joe, there's a lot of good information in there. Uh, a lot of things I didn't know when I read it. I thought I knew some things, and, and you find out this is the way you ought to be doing it. It's kind of a standardization. That's what they're going to, really. I mean, I was talking to Joe this morning about the computer. And, of course, my experience with computer at the plant, we had all computers for 10 years before I retired. I mean, everything there, you know that. Everything yeah. runs on a computer. But everybody still had their old notebooks. And if you're putting the unit on or taking it off, you look at the notebook and say, step two is this, step three is that. Finally, I said to one of the 
supervisors one day. I said, why don't we put this on the computer instead of all sitting around here looking at our notebooks? Why can't we just have it on a screen? Because we had 15 screens. So they said, you know, that's an excellent idea. So they put it on the screen. Now the state of Illinois in this department, they tell you to put all this stuff in this portal and give you a booklet, like a notebook. You go through there, okay, I do this, do that. And I was telling them still, so I said, I don't see why they don't put that on the screen. Mm -hmm. Well, they finally, after about a year, they're putting all the things on the side of the page. So when you, if you don't do something right, it prompts you and tells you you didn't fill it in right. And now it tells you go to the next step, push this button, and go here and do this button. It's the same thing we got in up there at where I used to work. You know, put it on the screen so you don't have to worry about it. Just sit there and it'll, you know, go down the list. And still said, man, it's neat. They put this all in here. Do you understand what you're doing now? Well, yeah. And it's, they'll get it right, and it'll be a lot easier, and it saves all the paperwork what it's doing. And I was telling Joe, everything in that office, I look in the future, Right now, the Honeywell nuclear grant, we're doing it on paper. That will be required to be put on this same thing that we're doing our emergency thing on. Eventually, the state of Illinois emergency management is going to have everything on that one screen. So you'll go to that page in there, and they're going to have everything you're doing right there. And eventually, they'll stop all the paper altogether. You know, there won't be paper. It's just paperless society is what we're going to. And then what this department's going to. And in the long run, it will save a lot of expense and also shuffling paper all the time. Yeah. You'll still have to do some on this end, but they won't be doing it up there. They just look on the screen and see it all. And that's where everybody's going. Bank records, everything's that way. It's a learning process for me or Joe or Stelso every time. <coughs> anyway, they're getting it together. It's just taking a while. State office in Marion, I mentioned before, uh, it's, when I came on board, they didn't have a full-time coordinator. They had another guy from up north doing it, Stan was doing it, I think you guys met him. Uh, it was fine, but he was spread out so thin, he really couldn't help much, and now they got a full-time guy up here, and Sherry's on board up there, and, you know, she's on top of If you not got something in on time, you're told about it. I can't say any more, guys. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be available. To these guys, if they need some help, and I'm gonna charge you or anything. So, be a volunteer. I've already got my forms find out. I found out the girls next door in the assessor's office. A couple of those gals are notaries, so I got to notarize my <coughs> volunteer form. I couldn't do it myself. <laughs> so, in reference to the forms tonight, we're also uh, going to try to participate with the uh, weather service in Paducah. Uh, on the 9th of February out at Shawnee okay. and do some training in a webinar. We're going to uh, open the training up to anybody, you know, in it's the area. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So. Is that for like weather watchers and stuff? Right. Like okay. Right. And, and Joe, and I think I told Joe this, the state of Illinois, again, off the record, please. <laughs> it's the insurance information. They're, the weather watchers, when they go out, if something would happen, if somebody gets struck in the light, and God forbid, they're going to be covered through the weather service. If something happens, and they got to have training. They're going to ask you, was this guy trained in anything? So we got minimal training now, but this is just an extension of that training, so we'll have something when they can say. I asked, sorry, I asked, asked the county's insurance person, which is... Gower. Mm -hmm. And he said that <coughs> their people said ultimately they would back up liability anyway. But try to get everybody else you could else, you know, covered if you could. So that's the only thing I always hesitant on those weather watchers and guys get out. I mean, I came close to running over a tree last year, a tornado blew down, I popped over a hill and there was a tree and I wasn't going that fast, but the whole tree was across the road out there on North Avenue. And so I mean, stuff like that could happen, so you want to get the training so the weather service will help on that. And some of the guys that have been over a year since they've had a refresher. Okay. Shawnee is donating facilities and the services of a technical person that morning in case we have problems. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you. That's all I got. Okay. I think one of these guys will go to Cynthia's uh, Thursday night. So. Okay. I 
I'm sure they'll welcome yeah. you. The, the one thing I'm going to try to talk to Nancy or Larry Smith out there and see if, you know, I know you've been to some of the meetings and people, uh -huh. it's hard for me to remember everybody's name. One thing I've learned going to meetings, if everybody go around the room and introduce themselves, then everybody right. get a little bit of idea of who everybody is. Uh -huh. So, you know, it gives you a little exposure to the people out there and they know who you are. And if there is a problem, they know how to get a hold of Jeff Weber. Or, uh, mm -hmm. Gerald, everybody knows how to get a hold of Gerald. <laughs> Sometimes, unfortunately. I wrote, I wrote Jeff's number on the bathroom stall. <laughs> it's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Larry, we sure appreciate well, all you've done you. for the county. And, uh, well, I said you got a good <coughs> meeting. You've done an excellent job. Yeah. Haven't heard the first bad comment. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I didn't say all the one that signed it. No. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, during the flood, people get excited. I had more than one told me they didn't want to bring a lawsuit and stuff. Oh, yeah. We caught most of them down. Yeah, it well, looks like you guys got some business. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, well, thank yeah. you, guys. Thank you. Joe, okay. if you want to come up sometime this afternoon. Okay. Uh, you guys got it. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, you can have a couple of pegs on the boots for the Sheriff's Department. Okay. Negotiate some. Sure. Guys, uh, doing fine. I'm fine. Good. Let's go come on up here. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yeah. Or anywhere. Yeah. 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 We uh, pull the comfortable chair and sit wherever you want to sit. I'll move my pillow. Come across the preliminary and the final plan for phase one. Okay. Does it look like this? Is you as recorded? No. no. This is what I have. Mine's got more signatures than yours. <laughs> what? Well, yours is That's nice. a good thing. Good deal. Well, how'd y'all get yours? Oh, I had my sword. Ah. <laughs> I was going to tell you where I got mine. Actually. If I tell you, I had to kill you. <laughs> that might be all right, too. Not very right bad. <laughs> This is phase one from preliminary. Mm -hmm. We had the preliminary, we had the same one you've got here, here. You lost some lots or something, hadn't you? Well, actually, they took and they made this into phase two. First part of phase two, which you do have prints on upstairs. Because mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, see, he lost all of these up here. But if you look in phase two, that's where we pick those up and go down. Those are yours. Okay. Thank you. The biggest thing is now what do we do? How do we get these recorded? Well, don't we have to have Mr. Gentry come and I don't know what we've got to do. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's a question we got. We don't know that's, what that's, has to be done. Let me see if that packet's available if we can just get one. Not my forte, you know. I mean, I'm uh, in over my head anyway. I don't want to drown you. Turn this off. Somebody wants chips. Oh, I thought he was calling. Yeah, Patrick's phone there. I thought he was calling you. Okay. What'd you do with Patrick? Hey, is Patrick available? Uh, Representatives from Cedar Lane here just had some questions. He's in court. Okay. All right. Well, we'll talk. We'll talk to him soon. Thank you. Now, this is what we talked about in the request: is you had to have this before you would make any kind of decision. What mm -hmm. you're going to do with the? Well, 
I just got this last night, so I was I was going to speak to Patrick uh, today. But that's all I had. Yeah. I thought, well, that was a good start. That was something better than we had before. Mm -hmm. But you went above and beyond. You got lucky, that's all. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what we can do. <coughs> so now that we've got this, what's our next step? Well, I mean, we'll talk with Patrick and get it, you know, figure out the correct way, the legal way to get it recorded. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Jason, we'll be up there this afternoon, maybe. Yeah. Catch up with him after that. Yeah. Well, usually between 12 and 1, they can catch him yeah. and out the door because he goes to lunch. Try to do that. And I guess the next step would be is how we're going to try to come to a compromise on the road, I guess. Mm -hmm. You all been able to research anything on the grants or anything yet? As I told you before, the last meeting was even before that. There's no use us doing anything until because you you, you there's no sense we're wasting our time until they become a uh, county maintained because they will not issue any tax to a public public to a public thoroughfare that's privately maintained. I guess what we had asked was didn't know if there was any other counties or cities that had been had had this in the state of Illinois you know, on possibility if you knew them that we can contact and try to you know, I wonder how you find something like that out. I don't know. I mean I don't know. Uh, I don't know, know maybe yeah, every, you, you, every now and then you'll see something like all and I remember one time had a big grant but it was I think for their sewer. For sewer, yeah. 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 They you know they do that yeah. but you know it's mm -hmm. the roadways you have to you know so maybe uh, that was such your last meeting. I mean, <clears throat> she had mentioned that she thought there was some stuff out there. I didn't know if she was. Well, she was shut down, basically. You know, we were shut down, not she. You know, she represented the residents. With the letter from Larry Glasgow that just blew everything out of proportion was not full of facts. Have you guys talked to Shimkus or anybody other than uh, was it the letter you're talking about? Was that to Shimkus? That was from Shimkus. Um, yeah, it was to and from Shimkus. I think I forgot. Hey, did you come up here when they met with that Shimkus? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Diane and Gary and oh. Tammy met with him and they sent him a letter. And that's when he first sat down here. That was before he came on board. Jeff was that, uh, you know, Shimkus advised us that. Uh, if the county doesn't do anything, that we may need to seek legal action. I mean, that was, I didn't think that, was that in the paper? Or was that, that was in the paper. Yeah. That's in the paper. I got the, I got the copy of that. Oh, we got a copy at home, too. Yeah, I got a copy at home, too. <coughs> Actually, I got a copy from you guys. But, sure, this was here last week, wasn't it? But, wow. yeah, I, I was in the process of getting this. I couldn't be in two places yeah. at one time. I'd already put it off and then told the doctor's appointment before we met, so it was just, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. to interrupt you guys. Well, I guess we're going to have to get back on our lunch break and see, well, see where we go from there. Yeah, we need to find a way to go. At least it's headway. <laughs> it's headway, but, you know, it's... We're definitely not moving as quickly as everybody wants us to. No, we're, no, we're, no. That, that's a... Which one of you guys have been out there long enough? I mean, who's been out there longest? Uh, when you, when you, what? What's your time period? What, when do you move out there? When you? Oh, gosh, I had to add the houses up. Uh, 2005, 2006, we were talking about it, so I was driving. Yeah, Tammy can tell you exactly. She remembers all those dates. But, uh, yeah, I think that's about right. It's been... Uh, you were probably out there in 98, 99. That was about 17, 18 years. 18 years, I guess. Yeah, total, yeah. Um, what did you do? Two houses? Two three houses or two houses? Four. Four. Oh, 
I tell you, I, which I got the wrong, I think the gal in your office may have got the wrong one, Jesse, but we was trying to get the road coming in and get a date on it in the, in the plan. I guess, uh, and they were trying to see when this was done. Yeah, here when, was. when this was done, too. I'm not really sure on the date on that, but we was trying to find that out and run them together. But, I mean, just wanted to have it all, you know. Yeah. But on, on this one, on the final on this, I know there's wording on the back one when it, Gary said he was, was going to maintain the roads. There's naughty on this. That's something Tammy told yeah. me to mention too about that. You know, she had a spot in there where I guess Gary had written, you know, he was going to maintain them in the back. So phase two. But he's, I mean, he told me on the phone, I'm not making up that he had no intentions of, of uh, doing the road work. So, I mean, he just, just didn't have equipment on. But I mean, he wouldn't, he didn't figure on being gone from out there either. You So, okay, next step is go to Patrick, get these, get and see where we can get this recorded. Okay, then what is this what is this going to tell you? Feathers and easements. I think the next step after that would be what the board needs to make a decision on, on what direction they want to go in. That would be the next step. Okay, what what kind of time frame are we talking for all this, Jason? You know, we've been talking a long time. We just need yeah, to make a decision. Been, we, we have been talking an awful long time. We just, we guess we just gotta make it, you know, we just gotta get out there and, and get the decision made and see if it's acceptable to see the rain if it's not. You know, just look for a compromise maybe. So, compromise. You know, even if we we get everybody together as a group, we don't have anything to tell them right now. That's what that's I guess basically what we need, Jason. Is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we have had some different some neighborhood of, meetings before, like over the water and, and sewer stuff. When we, we need to know some kind of plan of attack, what to tell them, what to expect, yeah, what, and, a, what, what, and a reasonable deadline, you know, that you're going to come back with us, you know. Because, to be honest with you, since I've been involved with this, I've been next week to death already. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, yeah. And, you know, I know this is not the only thing you guys have to concern yourself with. We'd like you not have to fool with this anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> trying to feel good for everybody, I think. <laughs> <wouldn't be. laughs> we need to make some kind of decision and go from there. What well, if I say I talk to you tomorrow instead of next week? Then. Well, that'd be fine. You could, you know, I, I tried to call you, but you weren't at work last week. Well, you were off today. <coughs> Don't work. Yeah, I think it was Thursday. I came across these last ones. Sure, I mean, we don't carry any cash anymore. We had some people getting robbed in a lot of places. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. And they absolutely will not. If you the only way you can do it is pay cash. You don't do business. I mean, that's how serious well, it is. A lot of yeah. businesses. It wasn't around reach. here, but I mean, especially when this last recession started, it was. But then a lot of the, some of the smaller businesses probably want to just do cash just to yeah, some keep everything do, current. We got, we got, we're out early in the morning and it's a good time, you know. Well, now you get them with the credit cards that cost now, you know. They even give us two a three percent phony billfold that to carry instead of our regular billfold, so it doesn't have any of our credit cards or information. Yeah, so yeah. if they want something, yeah. they take that. But wow, and I don't get far with anything I got in mind. My wife don't, don't allow me to have any no loans. <laughs> she ain't gonna mess with that. You got chips to eat. You don't need no cash. He's <laughs> 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 hungry. <laughs> so they're not gonna mess with the bags anyway. Take this <coughs> verbatim, or, or, you, or is he going to require surveys? Which, you know, I know in the past he's always mentioned that someone has to. I just don't know if you all bring that if that's sufficient, or if he'll have to talk to Mr. Gentry himself. I don't, I don't know. 
where is the phase one you're talking about is here or how does it I mean you said uh, it, this map's it. been broken too yeah all the way down this phase one yeah. this section this is actually yeah this is actually all part of that first first subdivision you know you got the two maps together Where does the county road end? Right here? Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is Evergreen. This is the old house right there. You're telling me about that was the first one in Vegas, right? right? That's the first one you built. Because yeah. this road here is in pretty good shape. Yeah. This road is good shape. No, is that the one everybody uses? Yeah. I thought this one was here. This road that's everybody the uses. uses. It's the one they use now. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. One, somebody told me everybody using the same road. Well, well all the. Every truck that's carried anything goes in this way because it's a one shot, you know. To, you well, mean this part heavy was, truck, right? Yeah. If this part was done, all the building was in the back. I mean, it was full. Actually, I, I had the next to last lot in the corner, and it was over with. And then yeah. the new part opened up. That's when, I mean, nobody's going to take these turns when they can make a straight shot. Yeah. Well, unless one you need to be you know, here or here they have to go this way. But, yeah, there's not much traffic on here at all, just the residents. You know, delivery trucks, anything else that goes down, you know. And these, these streets do see school buses, but it's not like, you know. And my truck, because yeah. I don't drive this way because it's too rough. Yeah. So you come down Evergreen, then White Pine, you yeah. come and you turn right there. Yeah. yeah. And the washboard is really bad right next to it. Is your house in that riding there? Or on the right yeah, yeah. yeah, on the it's next side. It's on the next one's right here. So you're in a different phase. Right, the last. Yeah. yeah. But you did the one time have a house that were about right in here. Right. And, uh, that was the railroad had to be straightened up to build that one, that corner piece they owned at then. So <coughs> Gary, Gary bought that from them and then sold me the lot. Okay. But yeah, see, it, it really got cut down, you know, a lot. You know, I don't know what, why they did or well, any circumstances behind it, but that's. That's what we've got. Crazy they asked for just wanderers, you know, be that one time these streets had road signs on them. Where they get the road signs at? Was that a developer in that or was that the county who put those up? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm thinking here if the road signs up, I may be wrong. Okay, I didn't know. I just just something that just kind of yeah. crossed my mind real quick here. Uh, but he didn't on the road on the main road coming in. It's just I mean there was a sign hanging on that wooden post. Yeah, well, I don't know. That's not down now, is it? Pardon me. It's not down the wooden post. So no, it's still there. Oh, yeah, the sign's gone up over. Yeah, yeah, kind of a rust one sign or whatever up there at one time. <sighs> Actually got it from uh, Mr. Mizell, which had it from Warren. Yeah, right. I was saying on the Warren. Jerry Mizell? Bob Mizell. Oh, Bob. Okay. Um, uh, I just had this place in the end of the and said, we cannot find that map. He goes, well, I got a copy of it. He said, it's not the, you know, it's right. uh, whatever. Another one's been recorded. So if you don't mind, can I get a copy of it? Yeah, yeah nobody's, you know, it's not, it goes down so far and that's it. You know, yeah. once it, once it would. They could be appear to be turned over. It just died for some reason. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I don't know why. Yeah. But, uh, I'm happy you found it. I, I mean, am, I am too. It's I feel one, pretty good about finding that. One, one, yeah. really one more, <laughs> one more less hurdle, but uh, but you uh, try one, more, one more. Well, I was going, I was going to call Lauren and uh, uh, I 
talked to Frank and he had just got that, so that's... Yeah. It was just coincidence that I was talking to Bob on it. He said, well, I think I have a copy of it. And I haven't seen Bob in ages. <coughs> He's got the flu right now. Does it? Yeah. I don't want to see him now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll talk to Patrick then today. I'll catch him here in about an hour when he gets out for lunch. Yeah, well, that sounds him. good, yeah, because, you know, we need, I want to do it as fast as we can, but yet I want to do it correctly. Mm -hmm. You know, we need not to circumvent anything due to shortcuts. And, you know, we won't try and tether you yet. We, you know, we got the power <coughs> almost slid, but, you know, trying to tether you. <laughs> How about the other two guys? Well, you're the chairman. Oh, you know, he got to the top. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we are making progress. It's painfully slow progress. <clears throat> Were you going to call them back? Tell them what Patrick said? Yeah, I got Frank's cell phone. I don't know exactly what you could call it. Yeah, I don't know either. Okay. That's, it's usually a personnel issue. Okay, that's all you go to closed sessions for. Personnel, litigation, and property acquisition. It's very limited. I mean, if you just want to call us. Okay. I'll ask my question tomorrow when you call me with what Patrick okay. says. And I can give you Jeff and Gerald's number if you want to contact them. I got Gerald's number. So I'll talk to you one more time. I think I, I got your number too. You got it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you raise your in laws over that. I brought the card in for me. I lost it the first time. <laughs> you still got it now, though. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. Why? She, she takes notes here, something I do. <laughs> <laughs> How's her mother doing? She's doing all right. Yeah. Just kind of. Talked to Mike yesterday. Oh, man. Yeah, it's tough. He said that. She, gets it, she takes a beating. Oh. Uh, I told us that don't just agree with her. Just agree. That's the yeah, you don't. Alzheimer's, no doubt. Yeah, I'm going to win. Yeah, I'm going to win. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Do that. I'll let you guys know what's going on. All right. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you, Frank. You guys have a good one. You too. See you next week. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll put you on the agenda. Ask, make sure I'm clear. Did he bring two plants? I had one. You had one. And he, <coughs> I had. Did you read this? I didn't have the official one. Yeah. I had a little. Well, it's just an appointment well. for Bay Creek Conservancy. <coughs> yeah. Uh, Jeff on Bay Creek, we have about four thousand dollars of assessed value. I think I, when the taxes are extended, I, I what's your question? I think the highest amount I've ever seen was a buck ninety-five. He's talking about a preliminary and a final? That's up there. I had a preliminary. Oh, okay. That's what I had. But so, I mean, they just recommend final. somebody, you know, But he also had a copy board. of the preliminary on the second page. Okay. He, he well, should we not have a Madison County resident on that? Well, I, I know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm running to South Patrick's office. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. He wouldn't pay, wouldn't pay a final. Well, he'd deliver. Deliver yeah. the hand. Don Cook. That's the one they are wanting to appoint. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'd like to make some phone calls and do some checking on that before yeah. we appoint anybody. Okay. Be the that's, that's kind of a, an ag issue, and, and it's yeah. always been a sore subject up in that country. They get a, they get taxation, and what happens to the money? Nobody seems to know. I like it to say it sure ain't for no maintenance because there's no maintenance going on. I think on that now. It used to be struck market, didn't it? Well. 
See, I think yeah. the Corps engineer admits that out. It'll, now, they may be overseeing it. Yeah, but the property tax that we pay, I think, like I say, we well, extend the in, bucket in quarter. Well, in Massac County. Yeah. But what I'm getting at. Oh, you're I'm, talking about Polk County residents yeah, and Yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's Massac County people that farm in Polk County on land. Oh, that's okay. getting taxed in Massac Johnson, yeah, or Johnson, <coughs> Johnson, Polk. Or, uh, to my knowledge, there'd only be there, there's just one, three. one field that plays in Massac yeah, County. Yeah, I know like I say, you know, when, when I extend taxes, mm -hmm. uh, the, I, the highest I remember ever sending to Polk County is a buck ninety-five. It costs more to do to do the work. Yeah. So, but I, you know, I never even thought of that issue about. But see, we have Massac County, County residents that farm this there. Effects. So. Anyhow, and I mean. But I don't. I, you know, I don't know any. I don't. I don't know any of the people. Yeah. 